Welcome to the three minute truths and myths of MRI for low back pain. I'm Dr. David Warwick of Warwick Chiropractic in Lacey Olympia, Washington. Low back pain is a very common problem and the number one reason that people visit a doctor. Especially people that work hard or have a physical job, uh, many of the people cannot afford to miss a day or a week and so they're driven many times that uh, to get an MRI or questioning, you know, whether can you fix me and they think the worst possible scenario is, do I need surgery? So I'd like to help you out understand a little bit more that there are many factors or what we call abnormalities that occur in people, in, especially during the ages of 40 to 50, where you have things such as disc degeneration, bulging disc, joint arthritis, and even spur formation. So the ultimate question we really want to ask ourselves is where is the low back pain coming from? And what we do know is that, not to say that MRIs or CTs or X-rays are not important, they will share with us uh, things such as fractures or dangerous conditions such as cancer. But for low back pain, MRI can be misleading. It's because low back pain is functional, it's not structural, and it's easy for us to get sidetracked with dealing with that kind of problem and what we do know is that the vast majority of people well over 50 percent have painless disc bulges in one or more areas of the lower back even more so we'll find people 30 percent will have about partial disc herniations and 18 percent will have an extruding disc that's a disc that's almost all the way out from its position and these people are still pain free and never knew they had kind of any disc derangement in there. So when we look at certain studies, well, you know, over 60% of the population overall has some type of disc problem and it's without any back pain. Uh, so when we look at a simple strain or a sprain, uh, MRI may and often does confuse the patient, including the doctor, as deciding what the actual problem is and depending on the findings. So anytime there is weakness, numbness, non-resolving low back despite like six weeks of non-surgical care or even weakness in the bowel bladder control, that is the time that we start looking at those kind of uh, options for the patient. Most of the doctors or chiropractors, including myself, look at it from a conservative standpoint. There are certain things that, red flags that we look for in our patient and a thorough consultation history intake to help the patient. And then we start increasing the level of some certain diagnostics and things that you can do. I'm Dr. David Warwick. Thank you for watching. Visit my blog at drdavidwarwick.com.